Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. New items for purchase. We just broke into Mexico. And I think we're going to head on over here to... Let's go to land in Ricketts first. Let's see if we can't get us some... Okay, some monies. Whoa, what's this... Hey, no, bad. I don't know if I want this music to play. Stop it. I don't want to get in trouble. YouTube doesn't like music. Down with the music. Oh, you know what we should probably do, actually? We'll go ahead and head over there. We need to find a general store and get some damn ammo is what we need to do. Let's see what we got here. Chuparosa. Yes, a general store. Let's get in. No, not yet. Let's get in here and see what we got. Okay, never mind. I guess maybe we have to do this first. Maybe I just got too close. I don't know. Should be able to do it with our pistol, even if we need. What the fucking subtitles in Spanish? What am I supposed to do with that? Hey, gringo! Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? Oh, <laughs> sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo. Filthy fucking bean eater. I'm a slippery little Mexican. I'm oh. a little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean, you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> What harm could you do to us, exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Gave him multiple warnings. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. How many things? Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. As long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? 
I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? Death. I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be this whole place is teeming with a with Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. Was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. All right. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, senor! Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. Come on, these people need me. All right. Come on. Be a douche about it, dude. Look over there. 
They're in trouble, all right? Come on! Where's Thoma? Work! Hey, guys! How the hell? I must have hit his gun. Or I don't know. Keep your eyes peeled. These bandits don't give up easy. Come on. Oh yeah, that's right. You can just horse over it. Forgot about that. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Give me that 75 fame. Este cloco de perro en his entrenador. The hell is that dog? Call me. Amigo, remember the instructions. Stay close to the dog. This is just, this is damn side mission. Come on, hurry up and find the problem, brother. Is happening. Jesus, I hit the button, nothing happened. Alright. What is it, doggo? Take him down, boy. You're in trouble now. Got him. Any more, doggo? What do we got, buddy? Me. 
I don't understand this damn lasso sometimes. You're in trouble there, friend! Let's get our money. I'll take eighty-eight dollars. Bandito outfit. Ooh, girl. All right, where are we gonna go? Oh, we got the other, the other LRs right here in town. Oh wait, we need to go to the damn general store first, though. Buy some ammo. This is the general. Holy shit. Why, hello. Bueno, ya encontrarás lo que buscas. Fantástico. Gracias por sus negocios. That'll be all. Thanks. Should be pretty good now. Hasta la vista, baby. Okay, alright, I am so sorry about your pot. Oh my lord. Seven AM and ten. Oh damn. Sorry, partner. Two hundred dollars. Uh, can't I just save at a campsite? I'm cheap. I'd rather buy a gun. Okay, can I? Can I not? Can we? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay. All right. There we go. That's some upper body strength right there, man. I don't know how far I'm gonna have to go away. Got him. We'll save it up, brother. save it one more again that progresses it like what six hours or something? I can't remember there we go Let's get in there and get her started. Here we go. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here, because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Senor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio. The Stabacon, uh, Grind the Americano? Yo no sé. No. Hmm. Again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman. Teacher. A human being. Not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. 
Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pay me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. Awkward. I'm gonna take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. Muchas muchachas se enamoran con Abraham Reyes. Uh. I'll just campsite travel over there if you don't mind, sir. We're not on the best terms right now. It's kind of awkward. No, you haven't. Oh, is it not going to let me? Because I'm on the... Oh, snap a rolly. Where's that train coming? Where'd my damn horse go? Well, I don't need you now, you slowpoke. Wait a minute. Where's this damn train going? Is this a train station? Where's that old dude? Oh, man. Did that already leave? Okay. Alright, horsey. Get over here. Guess we're riding it out, boys. Come here, old boy. What the hell are you doing over there? Come on. My bad. Makes sense. Uh, makes sense. I can't put up a campsite while uh while I'm in a mission. Should have thought that one out. Let's go. Can I just follow the damn tracks? Las Hermanos. There's a train. Damn near caught it.
chicka 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 chee chee It's by the slaughterhouse. All right, let's find this Carlos guy. What the hell you are here? What the? Carlos, see, we're here for Luisa. She's still being held up in the caves. Yes, she's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. Okay. For this. Okay. Come on, let's get into those caves. Oh shit. I cover, Marston. Get on at those angles. Stop doing that. Okay, I was trying to loot. Table. 
Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Damn. What a badass. Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. You coming, old man? <laughs> Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! Uh, okay. Guess that one wasn't an option. before any more of them show up. Bitch, I'm waiting on you. Yeah. This green yeah. ball ain't happy, amigo! Yeah, this thing has Come nice range. On. Turn, mother... Are you serious, dude? Where is this guy? Ah, oh, okay. Oh my god, I hate this horse, dude. Yeah. Uh. Sir, what are you doing? Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Gasquilla one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Uh, yeah.
There we go. Spurred to victory. Complete 20 story missions without switching to a new horse at a hitching post. Lol. Spend your hard-earned dollars on increased firepower. All right. Can we put a campsite down here? You sure can. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate all your continued support on this Red Dead series. Hopefully we can get this game beat before the second one comes out. I'll be less playing that one, too. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.